Hello there, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Modded Spire. And as I promised, we are going to be adding a new mod every single episode until we can't no more. Uh, but I am a little bit picky, we're not really adding new characters all the time. Uh, now, I did say we're going to be play, playing the Runesmith this week, but actually we're not going to be, because I found a very, very interesting mod. So the mod is called Conjunction. So, uh... This is the uh, a mod by Problematic, and it is the 0.01 version. So uh, it has all, it has been mentioned that this mod is in very early access. So that is a uh, mod contains all kinds of stuff. It doesn't even have much of a description. I'm just going off what the pictures, uh, the screenshots were in the mod, and it seems kind of interesting. So I decided to install it. So today we're going to be running with it. Uh, but because I don't know what exactly it's going to add, and of course we are we are we always have. We played Aspire Necromancer, even the Mystic and the Runesmith are still here. Uh, but we will be playing, ooh, I don't know, what are the base characters? You know what, let's go Ironclad. Uh, not on Ascension Day, we're just gonna go, you know what, Ascension 1. Let's go Ascension 1, right? Ascension 1 is fine. Elite spawn more often, Ascension 1, Ascension 1's really fine. It's good, let's go. So we're gonna see what this mod does, and I am not entirely sure up to lose all gold for a random rare relic. Yeah, so that was Champion's Belt, that's actually not bad. That is actually really good. Uh, this means... Well, this means a lot of things, but we don't really care uh, that much. So we are going to want to go for maybe Act 4? I don't know. So where is the Super Elite? I do see the Super Elite. It's on a bad path, though. I guess I could go Double Rest Super Elite, but I wanted to have at least two Elites here. But the Super Elite on the first floor is the easiest. So I might go for the Double Rest here down the middle-ish. And then go for a super elite. I can go for a double elite with a super elite, but I don't think I want that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the super elite. Let's try. So again, not entirely sure what this mod does. I did see a bunch of stuff here which seemed interesting and new stuff here from the mod, which doesn't explain a lot. I know, I know that that's that's all I know. And that's the beauty of it. We're gonna explore it together. Uh hopefully. Uh, now, I did actually read some feedback. Apparently, the mod is, well, good. So, that's, uh, let's see. Alright, so this is from, uh, probably from, uh, the new mod conjunction. I don't know, it doesn't actually say. Oh, no, this is from Replay the Spire, okay. So, uh, Replay the Spire does act add actually new cards to the uh, old characters, so it's actually a good idea to replay all of them once in a while. So, deal 8 damage if this card is exhausted, increases damage by 4, and place it back in your hand. So, that's actually really good. Uh, the uh, um, the Ironclad does have many... Well, it would cost 0 until played. That's actually really nice. Uh, the Ironclad does have some exhaust synergies. Uh, for example, exhaust to draw, so at least this gives it a target, a better target. But we are going to go in Inflame here. Uh, because uh, I do want to go aggressive ironclad, and we are only on Ascension 1, and we already have Champion's Belt, so you might as well go aggressive, right? Alright, right, that's what I was thinking as well. Good, so we don't need to defend here, we're going to heal up for 6 anyway. Uh, it is entirely true that I could have actually fully healed up there if I had actually defended, but yeah, it's fine. More than fine, in fact. Uh, second Inflame is too much, we do not want any of these cards, we don't want to apply weakness because we have Champion's Belt. Alright, so Trapped Chest. So this is from Replay the Spire, apparently. You find a lock chest, because I've never seen this event. I was like, what? what's going on here? You find a lock chest. Something about it seems a bit off. So I will trigger up Trap, or I could leave. And let's see, random loot. Uh, you open the chest, darts suddenly fly out at you. So I can become, this is a new curse, which can be played. Take two damage, draw one card, exhaustive two. What does that mean? Start up, add a copy of this card to your draw pile. Oh, okay. I can take 20 damage or I can uh, take a 50-50 roll. I'll take the 50-50 and I oh, I took the damage. Sure. Uh, we don't have Matryoshka there, so the other option was not for us. Okay, so three cards. Whirlwind, sure. Uh, abandon. So this is from Replay to Spire. Exhaust up to three cards. Draw one card for each card. Add a void to your discard pile. Exhaustive three. What does that mean? Exhaustive. Exhaust... After a certain number of uses, okay, and it upgrades to add a daze instead of a void. All right, so we don't want that. We're going to take the gold, so we did get a little bit of gold out of that as well, and none of these. Hmm, for 32 HP, I'm not entirely sure I got a better end of that. 
Let's see what the boss fight is. The boss fight is Hexago, so my HP is actually sort of fine. I need to kill that one. Uh, I need to kill him just so that I don't take too much damage. I'm gonna try and heal off of some of the enemies. That does not mean that uh, it's gonna work out to the way I planned it, because the Super Elite is a little bit, you know, dangerous. It can be dangerous. Ah, Defy. Wow. Gain 10 block. Costs one less energy for each card you've exhausted this combat. Grave. Start each combat with this card in your discard pile, so it's guaranteed to be in the discard pile. That's actually not bad. If you're running an exhaust energy, this is amazing. And I might be willing to try that one day. One day. Ah, okay, so this is interesting. I got a Bash Defend here. Do I? Well, I can't kill anybody, so Bash Defend it is. Because that's going to apply vulnerability and actually save me the most HP. I could have actually gotten an Attack Potion. We'll see, I might get it now. Yeah, sure, let's see what we get. Uh, this might actually kill. Yeah, it does. Good. Now, the reason I didn't use it on the Jawworm is because I don't want to take any more damage. And I probably shouldn't, depending on what I get here. And yeah. Okay, we're fine. Now, Thunderclap is normally something you would want. Uh, we do have Champion Spell, so Thunderclap is good. But I don't have extra energy, so I'm not going to pick it up. Uh, first upgrade, definitely Whirlwind. Then it's probably Inflame, then probably Bash. I could go for like two leads, but I'm kind of worried. I mean, I haven't played Low Ascension like normal runs in a very long time, but still I'm a little bit worried. I was, this this was going to kill either way. Colorless Potion, Flame Barrier, Havoc, Closed Line. So none of these uh, seem changed to me, even though I didn't read what they do. Uh, Inflame, just for the one extra strength. We're good on strength, by the way. Now we just need a limit break. Yeah, I'm going for a standard build. I actually, uh, uh, oh, Nunchucks is good. But I need the key soon. Oh, Grumlin Cook. What? What? What does he do? I have no idea, and it's uh, slightly worrying me. Uh, finesse? No. Thinking ahead? No. Add one random colorless card. Uh, parry! What does it do? Deal four damage, gain two reflection. Okay, so we know what reflection does already. If target intends to attack, ethereal. Exhaustive. Hmm. Oh, well, it's going to remove itself, so. <laughs> There's that. Oh. Well fed. Ooh. Has gained 2 strength, will lose 2 strength at the end of this turn. That's actually fine because the enemy's dead. I believe he got healed as well from the cook, didn't he? That is a very interesting mechanic. Yeah, 5 health and 2 strength. On next turn, of course. So this is actually going to do enough to kill all of them. That's what I was waiting for, whirlwind. Uh, Heavy Blade is normally a good option for going strength, but I currently don't want it. Ah, now I don't have a Momori, so no. I wish I could go like this, but I can't. Let's go. Okay, good. They are actually not attacking. This means one of them is going to be on really low HP, and if I get Whirlwind, maybe they both die. Uh, so that is lethal. Yeah. Okay, good. That is healing. Ah, Parakeet, would you look at that? Okay, yeah. Uh, none of these were changed by the looks of things. Okay, so we actually met the blue mage before. I don't remember what he does, but we did meet him. Now, I'm not entirely sure what his elite form is, so that might be more HP, but it's not really sure. Ah, yes, right, reflective. Whenever you completely block damage, deal that much damage to the attacker. That's actually fine because he will not fully block damage. Now, bash is way more important here. So this means I'm not taking damage because he took HP damage, reflective doesn't work. Ah, blind, your attacks are obscured last two rounds. Uh, but because because of their costs, I know what they are. We have just a single whirlwind and a bash, so we're actually fine. I will weaken here. It is a decent defend. And yeah, sure, let's defend for a little bit. I'm fine on HP, so I probably didn't need to, but... Uh, this one is whirlwind. So I'm willing to take the 10 here. Uh, these were all attacks anyway, just strikes. Plus, taking damage isn't bad. We are facing the Hexaghost after all. There it is. Juzu Bracelet, there's the Emerald Key, and I should pick up a Battle Trance. It is a good draw, again with Strike from Hell, which is actually not a bad card if you're going again Exhaust. I'm starting to think about it. 
Oh, okay, so uh, this is from Replay, this part. We have a special edition, so this means this is uh, upgraded, which is kind of nice. I'm going to pick it up, guaranteed. Pre-upgraded flex? Sign me up. Awaken one ritual. All right, we already, we've already seen this. We haven't played it. Weight training. Uh, that's from Replay the Spire again. Game one strength to lose one HP. Exhaustive. That's actually take one. So take one damage is really good because you can just block it away. This is this is the best Jax ever because it exhausted a couple of turns as well. Anyway, a lantern is probably my pickup here. I can card remove, so I will. Let's remove a strike. We already have enough attacks. And let's head into the boss fight. Upgrade, definitely. Bash is going to be used. We have a champion's belt, so I do want I do want a thunderclap as well. At this point, I would prefer extra energy as well, but oh well. You know, before the thunderclap, that is. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to get extra energy here. Oh the flux. The bash. Should I take 12? I mean, that is too much damage to pass up, isn't it? We are a burst cannon, a glass cannon, sorry, so let's go. Well, I hope we are. I should block at least for one here. I know I'm losing a lot of damage, but... I was hoping he wasn't going to attack that turn, but no, apparently not. Battle Trance into... Bash here actually does help a little bit, plus it is the 10th attack, so we are sort of fully... Oh, we are fully defended, right. Okay, I think you're dead. I have only three energy. I need to remember that. For some reason, I thought I had way more. And obviously I didn't. Now you're dead. It would have been funny if he didn't die. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, extra energy? Ectoplasm, no. Uh, black blood. Or what is this? This is not a singing ball. <laughs> Looks like it, but it's not. Remove five cards from your deck. Choose two curses to obtain. Attempting to remove curses with this with this first effect transforms them instead. So I will remove five cards, which is actually really good, but I'll get two curses, which I'll have to remove at the next two shops. So that's... I mean, if you really need a thin deck, and if you really don't need strikes, that's a really good option. But I will be taking... Ooh. Wait a minute, wasn't this 10 HP? What? What is bl prevents the next card HP cost? Max of three stacks. What? That's new. No, it just replaces burning blood. What? So there is a blood mechanic from something. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, right. The blood mechanic is from uh, from the necromancer. Right. Let's not forget that. So at this point, I'm looking for. A decent number of elites and a decent number of rusts. And I see triple rust, double leaf, which I really do like. But a late shop as well and an early shop potentially if I want it. But I'm not going to want it. So we're just going to be uh, sticking to the right side. Oh, this early limit break though. So I don't actually have extra energy, but the first turn is really good. Now because we didn't apply vulnerability, we're not going to apply the champion build effect. That's how it always has worked, I believe. I could be wrong, but... Now, I do heal for 12, so I'm fine with taking the 10 here in order to potentially kill next turn. Depending on what I draw, of course, let's not forget that, but... Whirlwind. Strength Patient, sure, give me more, more of those. This keeps showing up, like, a lot. Like, it's in my face a lot. No, no, my god, I almost clicked on it. Whew. Receive Shrug It Off and store a card. I could actually do that. Now, this is a very rare event. And I wish it was a little bit more common, to be honest. I have nothing to store that I want to currently store, and I do not want to shrug it off, so ignore. I, I really do. Become cursed. Okay, so this is from Replay to Spire. It is actually changed. You become cursed randomly. Uh, sorry about that. I need. I really needed to sneeze. Uh, so, because of the uh, random curse, this is actually a bigger threat than receiving a normal rye. Not modded content. That's actually the lie this is modded. We got uh, King of Hearts, which is from Replay to Spire. Whenever you lose HP during your turn, gain twice that much block. Okay, that is interesting. We did not actually get a uh, curse, which is good. My only attack is going to be super buffed. Nice.
Alright, again, sorry, sorry about the silence. It does happen from time to time. I do have to be a little bit silent. Uh, whether it's sneezing, coughing, or uh, just plain old swearing. I, I don't. I don't. I really don't. Okay, that's, this is good. So what's about to happen is the enemy is not going to die because I don't have a second strike, but now it is. Uh, okay, nope. Why do I keep randomly clicking? I don't know what's happening. So the next upgrade is going to go on Limit Break. Even though I probably don't need to upgrade it, we should be fine with like 6-ish strength. Especially if I get a early flux. More, more than 5. Oh, 5 times 3, what? Okay, this is a new enemy. This is a sn... Nechameleon? Snechameleon? Yeah. Color Shift. Each turn, choose one of three random effects. Effect... Effects last one turn. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So this is something I've... Uh, okay, yeah, extra energy. This is a very interesting... In Venom, Vulnerable or Thorns. Uh, sure, gain in Venom. Okay, so I get to choose what the snake Snechameleon gets. Which is interesting. Wasn't I supposed to get block? Oh, uh, it gains it on the next turn though, so it's better for uh, multi-hit attacks. Okay. Okay, now I get it. I need to block here, I don't want to be poisoned. Uh, slowed? Sure, whatever. I have no idea how slow is gonna affect me. Is it going to affect me when I play a card? No. Yeah, okay, that's not good. A good thing the enemy's not attacking, so. <laughs> There's that. Confusion. Why? No. Uh, I guess the enemy becomes intangible if I choose that, but I'm going to choose slow. Why do you keep... Why did you... Uh... Of course I'm going to attack it. Why'd you confuse me? Beat of Death. Oh, okay, that's from the heart, isn't it? So I will take 1 HP every time I play a card. That's actually fine. Because I believe... Ah, but I can only play this. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Right. That's because my second strike was uh, 2. Backfire. Deal 4 damage and exhaust at the end of your turn. Affected by your own damage modifiers? No! Are you kidding me? I have 14 strength. Regal Pillow, sure. Ah, upgraded Thundercloud. Ooh, what is this? Run through. I really like some of the artwork. Target only loses 9 HP and 4 block. The wording here is very important. It's not deal 9 damage, it loses 9 HP. So this is guaranteed to go uh, through shields, through block, through potentially. I don't know how it works with intangibility, or at the very least, I don't remember. But this is a very very interesting it probably doesn't scale with strength though so we're not going to be picking it up so i'm going still this way for the uh oh that was actually oh that's an elite fight i thought it was a normal fight for a second there i thought i was on a question mark golden egg from i we are really not getting conjunction uh conjuration whatever the mod was called <laughs> oh boy Whenever you add a rare card to your deck, it is upgraded. Whenever you purchase a card from your merchant, it is... A Ooh, what? It says whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, so any card. Okay. And every rare card is going to be upgraded. Oh, there's a cook. Okay, so I guess this guy can now summon cooks. This is perfect because it makes them vulnerable. This just kills them all. And yeah, I'll take some damage. Oh, it's during your turn. Oh, okay, that, that explains it a little bit. Okay. I was like, why is that thing not triggering? What is going on? It's during my turn. I didn't read. You really should read. Don't do as I do. I don't read. Alright, let's uh, defend for like eight. At least I'm one weakness less, so that's kind of good. That is a lot of damage still, even with weakness. Wing boots! Yes, pummel! Offering, ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take offering. Right, that's an that's a rare card, so it's upgrade. Oh my god, I'm gonna overdraw like crazy with it now. I never upgrade offerings until, until I just have nothing else to upgrade. So, I'm not used to playing with upgraded offering. Now I could actually, you know what? Let's go. Oh, not you again. Not you. Are you from replay? Aspire, you are. Of course you are. 
Why would you be from anything else? So limit break here, definitely. I can... Why did I limit break? Okay, I'm not going to offer in here. I was going to. I'm not going to anymore because I shouldn't have played limit break there. I was an idiot. I thought I had played flex and I didn't. Yeah, sure, you can have an venom. Okay, sure, that's that's better now, I suppose. As some weakness, I will take too much damage, but it should be fine. One poison, two poison, three poison, of course. Uh, let's make me slow it instead of vulnerable. Why did I take damage? Oh, poison, right, poison. Alright, now it's going to confuse me, isn't it? Which is actually not good, because... Confusion. No, be to death. No, what? Alex, let's make the enemy intangible, sure. It's not like I can defend anyway. I can't use limit break here, I need to defend. Hexed, sure. Text me for ever? Wow. Okay, sure. Tabby your way. Can I kill it here? No, I was going to use offering, but I can't do anything. Ugh. Does the hex go away? Okay, the hex, I don't think it's going to go away. Sure, more hex. Oh, I'm double hex. Okay, so the hex doesn't actually go away. That's great. Still adds only one, though. <laughs> How are you not dead? Why are you not dead? I hate this enemy. Please leave. Never show up again. Uh, sure. Let's just keep hexing me. Oh, they do go down. Okay. Tag bags. I was actually about to say tea bags for some reason. They look like tea bags, though. So. Uh, no, no, and more no's. Um, yes. I know I didn't even. Two for one. That's nice. I didn't even uh, check this, but uh, this is a zero cost. Deal one damage three times. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's three times though. It's not four. Oh no, I don't want it. Many hand. I'm gonna read that first. Let's read the funnel. At the end of your turn, unused energy is converted to four blockage. That's actually not bad if you have a lot of uh, floating energy. Many hands. Uh, add X copies of undeath touch to your hand. Deal one damage two times. Apply one decrepit? What does that do? I can't I don't know what decrepit does it. Otherwise, this actually seems really good for what I'm doing. It's basically gonna double my strength. Uh flash of steel though. Really good. Um Midas Touch. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. Add a random rare card to your hand for each. Add a random upgraded rare card. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know about this. This is kind of the obvious thing. Like, it's really good. Flash of Steel, like two of them. Uh, the problem with that, I'm actually going to save. I'm only going to save one boot. Uh, letter opener, we do not need, so I'm going to take the key here. And here, what is the boss fight again? I'm on 50 HP. I have nothing to upgrade. So, uh, yeah, sure, let's go. I'm going to use one of these if I have to. I'm just going to use the Strength Potion, just straight up. Yeah, sure. Plus the early limit break, that's fine. I could have actually used the Flex Potion instead of the Strength Potion. That would have been better. <laughs> so the reason uh, Flash of Steel is really good is because I can just chain it off. The problem with Flash of Steel, though, is that eventually I will get uh, Time Eater. I'll probably fight the Time Eater now. Uh, not entirely sure, but it's within the realm of possibilities. Now I need to burst it down fast. Can I do it fast? How fast can I do it afterwards? That is 20 damage. I can probably not block this, but what I can't... Oh, but I should have drawn first. I know I should have drawn first. I, why didn't I? I don't know. Okay, fully defended, so let's just do one strike. I know I had a lot of strength and it would have been better if I attacked there, but... Come on. Okay, I'm fine with this. I'm more than fine with this. Oh, right, Chemical X, right. Uh, Chemical X was an instant pickup. It almost always is, especially when you have Whirlwind. Uh, Hemogenesis. Deal 5 damage, gain 5 block, heal 5 HP. What? 3 HP, 3 cost, though. Goes to 8. Exo upgrade each time you lose HP while this is in your hand. Ah. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure this scales with damage, this scales with dex, and this doesn't scale at all. It's 
too much though it costs way too much to play i think i'm fine with fusion hammer am i you can no longer smith the problem with no longer smithing uh normally i would be more than fine in going uh with this deck uh to fight anything really uh, the problem is there's a lot of new cards added with replay to spire and there's a lot of stuff that i might decide to pick something up but i do need the extra energy so if i pick up something i just have to keep in mind that it's not going to be a great i'm surprised it's not a time meter fight by the way very surprised so we have all three of these and yes there are still three hopefully they don't change that even though i'm pretty sure they will this is a very what is with the map i should go there if i can I do have one winged boots. I could go there if I need to afterwards. All right, let's see. I see. I see. BM. Hmm. Well, double rest. Single. I guess I do want a single lead here. I don't want double lead here. And I'll go when I'm here. I'll just teleport over there if I can. And let's go. We're gonna go to the right side. I guess sort of. I was really hoping for a flex here. I probably should have flashed of steel first. The reason I was hoping for a flex is so that this enemy could die a little bit, you know, quicker so I don't take too much damage. But again, you know, this the heart the king of hearts actually saved me a little bit the HP there. So this is upgraded. Uh, apply to an enemy when you lose eight health, the bound enemy takes that much damage. That is actually if you're running something that tends to like lose you HP a lot, like uh, hemokinesis offering you know if you're running a lot of those cards that's actually not bad so this is exhaust one card draw three cards it is upgraded i don't know what's special about it necrogeddon Ooh, scary name deal damage equal to the number of cards you've exhausted this combat uh to all enemies wow that is powerful and it's a zero cost during the first turn drawing a card upgrades that's actually not bad I might. Uh, I can't get it. I was about to say I can get it, but I can't. Could card remove, or I could go to the next shop. Now the thing is, the the place that I'm going for is doesn't have more shops. So unless I go for this one, I'm not gonna have an extra shop, and I'm not gonna go for that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove a normal strike and play an old strike. Well, I wanted to pick up a Lamori, but that's not happening. Power potion? No. no, we don't need it. We should be fine with the potions we have. Ah. Now this is interesting. Strike. Deal 4 damage. Plus an additional 4 for each energy this costs. Refund 1. Sneko. When drawn, this card randomizes its cost. Okay, that explains a lot. Okay. Awaken 1 ritual and enlightenment. No. Panacea. Why though? For the flex? Yeah, sure. I can get Master Strategy, it will upgrade to draw cards, but I think I have enough card draw at the moment with the two Flashes of Steel as well, even though they technically replace themselves, so they're not card draw. Uh, and yeah, I really don't need any of these, so one card only there, that's fine. No. I've honestly just started skipping that fight in general. It's just not good anymore. It's not worth it, it's too much of an HP lost. Like 90% of the time, it, you just lose HP for a relic that you're probably not going to need. Oh yeah, let's offering. Sure. I mean, I'll lose the HP that I wanted to save here, but that's fine. No. Okay. Ah, oh, right, I can't. Ah, oh, right, I actually can't. Okay. Right, I can't upgrade because of Fusion Hammer. I totally forgot about that. So I'm still heading for... Actually, it doesn't matter if I go here or here. I'm still going to have only one elite if I go for that way, so let's go here. Ah, now Nemesis. Nemesis is a very interesting enemy. Maybe I get Panacea here. Or not. Or not. I was hoping to get Panacea. So here it is actually very important that I defend. Let's use Offering. It might save me more HP than you think. Okay, now that's interesting. Oh, Panacea! Okay, so I do need to be careful with Battle Trance. Uh, Battle Trance will negate Panacea. Sure, let's use this to draw. Mm, I could have actually used Whirlwind there for like 2 damage. 
If it matters. Okay, more limit break, sure. I don't mind. See, I don't mind. And that's not gonna do much, but it's something. I don't need to float energy as well. I have nothing that benefits from floated energy. Bandana! Gain two thievery for the first three turns of combat. Synergy bloody idol, so that is something we haven't actually seen the synergy. Uh pre-upgraded, but I don't really need it. We're still going there. So I do have uh shifting. Alright, yeah, right, we know that. So thievery is actually kinda good because you gain gold. So, you know, I'm kind of enjoying thievery a lot, but it's better early. Like, way better early. I could have saved the HP here. Ah, sure, it's fine, it's fine. First limit break, I might be able to get it again. This is gonna be fun. I mean, it is entirely true I don't need to go for a kill here, but I, but I probably could. Maybe get like flex. Uh, sorry, limit break again. He's vulnerable for enough turns, so I'm just gonna keep doing damage. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking this is gonna go uh, the killing route. All right, we do heal for twelve, not for six. I forgot I actually picked that one up. Wix potion is a no for us. Paper frog. Are you kidding me? Can't believe that. So the reason I don't want to go for another elite, even though I'm sort of on decent HP. Oh, decent-ish. Sure. They're not even going to be upgraded now. Uh, it's because I wanted to rest. That's going to be the last rest. Because we might not be able to rest over there. Defend and flame or strike. Um, yeah. Sure. Don't mind me. This is, yeah, this is Spire Growth, you know, I just, I was just double checking if it is Spire Growth, if it, if it isn't. Okay, let's Offering. So this is somewhat what I was hoping for. Let's see what this hits. A Defend and a Limit Break, sure. Uh, fine by me. And this. That is gonna be, ooh, 10 gold. Cool. So we are gaining gold from uh, Thieves Bandana, but again, it's sort of useless, uh, this light. I mean, especially when I don't have any more shops. I mean, I might get one in the next question mark. We have one more limb from limb. Deal 20 damage. If this deals at least 32 unblocked damage, refund two and draw two cards. That is actually not bad at all. Uh, because it will almost always guarantee to deal 32 damage because we have a lot of strength. Uh, reversal, though. I really like the artwork. Whoever did the artwork on these uh, ironclad cards did it really well. Uh, keep block at the end of the, this turn. Gain two reflection. So, blur of sorts. Okay, I still haven't seen a new card though from the new mod. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna need to heal, so I'm just gonna fight a boss. Uh, fighting a boss is fine. Ooh. Let's see what this makes free. Sure, that's fine. Let's battle trance. Uh, play this first. You know what I want? Yeah. Free limit break. At least this way, it's free. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. As if it wasn't almost always free anyway. Okay, so yeah, the Hexaghost uh, is probably not the easiest boss to fight from full HP. Okay, let's Offering, because Whirlwind here is just going to definitely kill. And Ice Cream, Lightning Marble. Okay, so this is from Conjunction. We finally got a relic from Conjunction. So I'm not entirely sure what the mod adds. So that's going to be kind of interesting. We're going to be exploring it little by little. Crack this marble to summon a power... To summon power of lightning. So... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to bother with... Oh! It's not a relic! I think I want these... No! I, do I, no! I want to try it out. I wanted those potions, but I want to try out this. So I could brew two random potions. I could rest. Upgrade a random card here for 20% max HP, or I can dig. I'm probably going to dig. I don't really need upgrades, so uh, yeah, I'm probably going to dig. Pen oh. uh, okay, so I'm, I am saving these strength potions for... 
the four. Just four. For the uh, hard fight, because we are going to be going towards the hard fight. So let's try and... Actually, I didn't even need to bother attacking these. Uh, I do have Whirlwind, and it's definitely going to kill them. As soon as I get some strength, if I get some strength. I want to tailor this, so that Madness hits Limit Break. Unnecessary this turn, but... You know, why not? If you can tailor it, why not tailor it to hit something you want? Instead of, uh, like me, something that I don't want. That's gonna be... The last power I use? Now, let's use Panacea. I'm hoping... Or at least I was... Uh, to draw Flex there. Because I just played Panacea. I'm not gonna play Battle Trance until I play Flex. There it is. In fact, I don't... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're dead. In fact, I don't even need Battle Trance anymore. I have Offering and the two Flashes of Steel. Eh, it should be more or less enough. Okay, Thunderclap, that's good. I need to defend here. Or at the very least not take 30 damage. We will be defending. I didn't need to defend. I, I didn't need to. I, I didn't notice that I had 8 energy, to be honest. Ice Cream for the win. So, Thump Thump. Uh, we are going to go to the next floor, and I'm just going to pop everything, probably. Approach the door. What? Was that always there? Approach the door? Don't you just automatically get here? Anyway. So, rest first, which, of course, I'm on full HP. That's amazing. Shop, that's going to... Oh, right, we did have this shop. Uh, replay the spire, replay the spire. I guess I should have actually checked. Draw two cards and gain one energy. That's not bad. Oh, this is really good, though. Double tap! It will be pre-upgraded as well. It will be upgraded because I have the Golden Egg? Golden Egg. Ooh. Yes. Alright, so I'm definitely picking this up. Afterwards, anything else doesn't really matter. So, Garlic, at the start of, of combat, apply three Languid. What? Fighters with Languid deal one less attack damage per stack. It is reduced by one at the end of each turn. Okay, so it's a damage reduction. Oh. Shop pack. Choose three colorless cards to obtain. Guaranteed to get at least one rare card. Or I could get Blood Vial, which will probably not be that big of a deal. I think I might get... I suppose this isn't bad for a multi-hit enemy like the Heart. Uh, this is kind of interesting, though. I'm gonna get the Garlic, because I just, in general, like Garlic. So that will reduce a little bit of damage. Now, it didn't matter what the Madness hit there. And I need to kill well, at least one of them as soon as possible, without taking too much damage, of course. As per usual, without taking too much damage. Let's see what we get. Okay, new flex. Kind of bad. We'll play it, though. Limit break. Please hit... I can tailor it to hit double tap, but there's no point. I'm not going to be bashing here. I cannot get vulnerable on them. I would rather just double tap or win, which is going to do an insane amount of damage with Pennib. Self forming clay, okay, sure. Uh, rage would normally be good here, but I'm adding too many things to the deck. Strength potion as soon as I get Panacea, good. That. I want to see what this does. Let's see. Hey, you know what? Uh, it's interesting. I don't know what else to say. I mean. Let's tailor this at the bash. It's exactly what we want. Yeah. I mean, we have a maximum of 300 damage per turn, but... Sure, add everything. Oh, that's the Languid. I was like, what is that? That is Languid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, double tap uh, Thunderclap because... Why not? And I'm gonna re remove the slime. I'm gonna be taking zero damage here because of the languid. Like, this is what I was uh, saying when it's good versus multi-hit enemies. Okay. I could have hit something with the madness there that's... Like, you know. Sure, hit the strike. Battle Trance? Four? You're doing way too much damage. I don't think it's worth it for me to defend, to be honest. Like, it's basically two block for an energy, and I was probably better off saving my energy. Okay. Flex Limit Break. Bash. The thing is, though, this is going to stop at a certain point. Yeah. 
because the enemy cannot take more than 300 damage per turn. Was that a pen nibbed? <laughs> it did 200 damage, what? Anyway, that is the Ironclad. And uh, we have completed Act 4 before with the Ironclad, and I believe the Silent, we are missing Defect and Watcher. I could be horribly wrong, but I'm pretty sure we were missing uh, Defect. We're definitely missing Watcher. Proceed. Uh, well, anyway. I am uh, kind of disappointed that we didn't actually get to see... Uh, yeah, that... Now what? Has it been done? No, it has not. Uh, so for those of you that haven't seen the ending, this is the ending. It's a little bit uh, interesting. Uh, now, I'm very surprised that we actually didn't see anything. Uh, well, we only saw the one potion from Conjunction, so it probably adds a decent amount of stuff. But Replay the Spar just adds so much that uh, I guess it's overwhelming. Plus the normal stuff from the base game, and we have stuff from, like, I believe the Runesmith only adds Runesmith-specific relics, so we're not going to really see them. And the Necromancer... I believe doesn't add anything except cards for the Necromancer. So yeah, there's that. For now, though, I'm going to be ending things off here. My name is Ben Rampa Mystic. I do hope to, to see you all in the next one. And you've been watching Say the Spark. Yes, I butchered that. I know, I know. Anyway, till next Friday for Modded.